Island of Exuma will soon get a new multi-million dollar airport. Tourism Minister the Honorable Dionisio de Aguilar shared plans for the facility he says is badly needed on an island whose economy continues to expand. Cleopatra Murphy has that. Government will continue the mammoth task of upgrading Family Island airports with Exuma next on the agenda. Tourism and Aviation Minister the Honorable Dionisio de Aguilar says work on a new airport in Georgetown to replace the current facility the island has outgrown will begin in six to eight months. It's very important to me and I made them uh, rework the drawings in order to uh, create uh, commercial opportunities for Bahamians to have shops in there. They had one. I said we need more so I think it's probably going to be eight to ten. Um, so it's, it's important that airports become commercial opportunities and they're run like a business. The project will be part of 28 Family Island Airport overhauls planned under the Christie administration to comply with international civil aviation organization standards. Those are estimated to cost $160 million that the Aguilar says government must engage in public-private partnerships to fund. He says Bahamians will have to one day prepare to pay facility charges like they do at the Lyndon Pindling International Airport, which he believes does not happen much at island facilities. If you want a $30 million airport or $25 million airport, you know, there has to be a way for us to at least mitigate that cost because we can't extrapolate that. We can't build uh, 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 28 airports, even at 5, 10, 15, 20 million dollars a piece. It's just, it's a huge number. Diagler says the upgrades are crucial as Family Island markets are seeing an uptick in tourists and government must plan for growth. Foreign visitors are intrigued uh, uh, by the uniqueness of our Family Islands. Uh, the smallness of it, the, um, the boutique nature of it, uh, gives people a sense of adventure. Going to the family islands is a sense of adventure. And that seems to be very attractive, and that's what millennials are looking for right now. Diagler anticipates the airport should be operational in 24 months. Cleopatra Murphy, CNS Network News.